Interconverting temperatures in Celsius and Kelvins. A physical chemist measures the temperature T inside a vacuum chamber. Here's the result. The temperature is negative 43.783 degrees Celsius. Convert T to SI units. Well, what is the uh, SI unit for temperature? It is the Kelvin. It is Kelvins. Uh, the Kelvin scale is what we need to convert to. We are asked to round our answer to three decimal places. So our starting value is negative 43.783 degrees Celsius. So what we're doing now is listing our givens. We are given that starting temperature. Well, do we know a conversion that allows us to convert from degrees Celsius to Kelvin? Yes, I do. That conversion is temperature in Kelvin is equal to degrees Celsius plus 273.15. So we've listed our givens, our starting temperature, and a formula that relates the Kelvin scale to the Celsius scale. And it actually is in the form that we need. This form will give us this temperature reading in the Kelvin scale. So let's go ahead and plug it in. Our temperature in Kelvins is going to be equal to our temperature in degrees Celsius, which is negative 43.783 plus 273.15. When I do the math in the calculator, what I get is the temperature in Kelvins is equal to 229.367. Now, you may be asking yourself, and the units is, okay, you may be asking yourself why we have three decimal places here and why they ask us to round our answer to three decimal places. The reason is, if we consider the rules of adding and subtracting using significant digits, they're telling us now it's three decimal places, but in the future, we are to be familiar with the rules. This right here, 273.15, is not a measurement. It comes from the conversion. It's an exact number. And so for this reason, uh, when we're adding these two values together, we are not going to be limited to two decimal places, but three decimal places because this is the actual measurement. This is an inexact number. So uh, we will be limited to the third decimal place here. Not the case here. So again, they tell us to round the three decimal places, but in the future, we'll be expected to know that. So the answer would be 229.367 Kelvins.